Our last two speakers are people who have been directly affected by the history and the present of what we've been talking about today. Um, first, we're going to hear from Paddy Burke, who's come from Liverpool to speak with us. Uh, Paddy, do you want to stand here? Or I need someone to ask questions to me. And, then I can and is that Joanna going to ask you I the don't questions? Know, I don't know. Okay, I will ask you, and you are, if I ask you the question, yeah, yeah. fine. Paddy, what organisation are you from? People First Best Society. And tell us what experience you had of the sort of things that we, we saw in Mabel's film. The place where you've seen in Mabel's film is places where I've been into, and um, choose in my like, can I name places? Yeah. Yes. Right, can I name places? Coldstones, Blockwood, Rain Hill. Um, in Coldstones, you would, uh, yeah, you didn't have no schooling. You tried to get school, but you couldn't get school. And it was very hard for people like yourself to find out where, if there was a school. And when there was a school there, it was all, it weren't grown up stuff. It was all short, um, five year old stuff, what you had to do and all that. Because we were about 14, 15, and it was a very good thing happening. How old were you when you went there? When I first went there, I was about. If I could have had one about 13. I was 15 when I went to the Food War. I was about 13, 14, 15. Six hours, less than 15. When I went in Calder. Yeah. I was there for about four or five years. Then we were up in different long term hospitals. Do you remember how old you were when you came out of the hospital? I, I was, uh, when I first went to hospital, I was hitting, hitting 40 when I first came out. And in places like that, it's, oh, you're not seeing your life at all. You're seeing, it's, you were you weren't allowed to talk to ladies. You weren't allowed to talk to girls. You had to talk to fellas. Fellas, you was involved with all your life. So I've been brought up with men all my life. Never females to say how we do or you know or anything like that. No, I didn't get none of that. But we had wards of all men and boys, and as boys grow up like ourselves and all that, things happen then. You know, goes on from there onwards. And it was the issues, but if we give cheek to members of staff, look out. Because you're back on the sideboard, you get called males. You really were living uh, proper food. It was, you get porridge, and your looks at porridge is like that. You know, you get lovely porridge now today, everybody's lovely today, but it's, it's a cover up. But porridge was like that, and it was cold. And it went. It was slapped on, it was slapped on, that you know the last few big ladies were slapped on, and that's what it was slapped on. Can I just finish off by asking what you've done since that you feel proud of, since you left? Well, I think so. <laughs> I think so. I've done, um, I've started off another group. I've been with that MSC group for 30 odd years now. I'm really proud of what I've started. I'm living by myself now, I'm proud of that. I've got friends outside now. That's another part of what I've done. Um, I've done a fair amount of things. I've done talking to bosses. Talk straight on bosses, but I don't like what I've done. You see, bosses don't like to have proof. And that's the only problem about bosses. They like to hide things. And I think we hide things. You know, they want to, because they've been in the line back and they know what they're doing, and so they want to hide that a different way. So they put it in a different way, not in the same way a person with a learning disability can understand, which I think is unfair. Paddy, I, I think there's a lot more you've got to say, and I'm sure people will want to talk to you after we finish the speeches, but we're going to call a halt to that one now. I can just say that I've known you for a long time, and you've been the leader of Mersey People First for. 20, 30 years? 30 Did you years. say 30 years? Yeah. So, congratulations. You, like Mabel, have proved them wrong, I think. Yes. Yes.